Hey, hey, love me. Where do I go? It's a big pizza. Thank you. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hello? Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Interact and manipulate him in any way as you see fit. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Hey everyone, I'm CT and welcome in. Welcome to my channel if you're new as well. Today we're going to be playing a bunch of scary games from itch.io. I believe they're sort of like little developers who have made games and have just uploaded them. They're mostly all free to play, but today I'm going to be playing some and they're going to be getting progressively worse. Uh, so I hope you enjoy. All right, welcome to the VHS Paradise. Uh, apparently it's a bit of a spooky game, so let's give it a go. Oh my goodness. So you're an employee working at the VHS store, and that's all I know. <laughs> I hate this damn fever, but I'm recovering. I'm going to start your shift by turning on the computer. I've left a good movie for you to watch after you, when you finish your work. By the way, I heard the rate of thieves increase a lot in the city, and much more at night time. Oh, lovely. Pay attention to what each customer is doing. If you see one leaving without paying, run and stop him. Be careful. Oh no! Can I run in this? I can, okay. Yes, I'm ready to start. Oh my goodness, I'm scared. Oh, I thought he was gonna. I'm gonna just like stalk them. I'm stalking you. What you getting, huh? What you looking at? Hey, hey! Dude, I'm unemployed and dead. I just wanna watch a movie in peace, please. Forgive him and let him go? No! That's stealing! Hello ma'am, what are you looking at today? I'm gonna go over here so you don't have to run from me. Hey, okay. oh you're gonna buy it. Thank you for being nice and patient. Seems maybe they still love that, yes. Hmm. That's when everything goes well, I understand. Okay, that's nice. That was a positive interaction. I don't know if I'm going to be getting a lot of those tonight though. By how many warnings I've got about the crime rate. Hello man. What's that sound? What you looking at? Hey! <laughs> Seven years old, and he wants this movie very much, but I have no money. Have mercy. I'm gonna say yes. That might come back and bite me in the future, though. Hello, person over here. Oh, you have nice big hands. 
how's your day today? What are you getting there? You gonna get it? Oh, good on you. Bless you. Three dollars. What's on chat? Okay, goodbye. Thanks for coming in. Can I hang out outside? Oh, here we go. Someone else. Hello. Sir? How's your night tonight? Thank you for buying. I'm not running off. Finally reached 100 movies purchase. Freaking, oh, awesome. Decorate my house. <laughs> oh, yes, take it. Great. Do I stand in, the, in here? There's another one coming. Hello, sir. That must be my car. I was thinking, whose car's that? But yeah, I think that's my car. Because I'm the worker. Oh, you're going to buy it? Good, and then. Let's go. Naughty rabbits. Sexy in a sexy adventure. What? <laughs> Um, looks like this movie, the scenes are exciting. I'm sorry, I'm not allowed to trap customers. Um, I'm gonna say the scenes are very exciting. I'm Robert. Nice to meet you. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Are you happy with this job? Do you fulfill your dreams here? Why do you ask that? I'm curious. So the truth is that I'm not happy in and never been any plans to work in a VHS store, but my boss does everything he can to make sure he has a good time here and the truth is that it doesn't work. Make it very sad to hear that. Well, it was nice to meet you Robert. Hope to see you soon. Also bye. A lovely customer. I don't really know. But I hope he enjoys the rabbits and with adventures or whatever it's called. <laughs> Sexy rabbit. Cool. Wait, what? the mechanic fixed the alarm problem but apparently not. I hope John's movie doesn't disappoint me. Okay. Close the shop and watch the movie? Yes. What a medical movie. I haven't seen such a predictable ending. I have never seen such a predictable end. Why do I like read it wrong? I wonder what John saw in this to recommend it to me. But I go home, I'm tired of being here. <laughs> what? Naughty rabbits in the sexy adventure. <laughs> oh. All right, this one is called Go to Bed. Um, another horror. Probably a little bit more than the VHS because uh, that wasn't very scary, to be honest. Go to bed. Go to bed. <laughs> Did you lock the front door? No. Can I get up? Oh no. Oh no. 
No. Okay, this makes sense. All right, so I actually have to like do everything before I go to bed. Okay, go to bed. Right, so have to make sure that the windows are closed and the alarm is on and the door is locked and hiding the knives <laughs> hmm is there anything else I've forgotten what's over here no okay so then we're gonna can't, I can't lock this okay Anything else here? Alright, I'm gonna go to bed and see what happens. Did you lock the front door? Yes. Oh my goodness. Did you close the window? Yes. Did you arm um, this? Yep. Security system. Did you have the knives? Yes. <laughs> well done. No one will get in. Next situation. Okay. Okay. I like this. Go to bed. Okay. So I'm in different areas now. All right. Hide the knives. Lock the door. Home system is on. Close the window. What is this? There's a hatch. Anything here? No. Okay, guess it's time for me to go to bed now. I think I've done everything I need to do. Okay, and in bed we go. I'm nervous. I don't know about that hatch in the floor though. Is the house secure? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> Good. Oh, okay. Go to bed. <laughs> No, I don't want to go to bed. Oh my goodness, where am I? I need to leave now. Yes, we do. We really do. It locked. Is this where I came in? No. Hmm. Okay, that's really weird. I think I've been in here before. Mm -hmm. Good. We've got the key. We're gonna get out of here. Oh, uh, wait a second. No, 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 Where do I go? Here? Yes! Did I make it? I need to find a way out. Oh! 
It's shut. Wait, what? It's armed. Maybe I can cut the wire with some something. Okay. But I don't I don't have the knives. <laughs> okay. So that's what that hatch is for. Needs a code. Just where we are, maybe back downstairs. Oh no! I don't want to go back downstairs. That wasn't too bad. All right, it's called a missing salesman. Um, yeah, let's give it a go. Tasks. Mm -hmm. What's my task? When I got home from work, there doesn't seem to be anything to eat at home. I should go to the store. Buy pizza. Okay. I'm not going to get a bus, I'm just going to walk on the road. Okay, I need to buy a pizza. Here's the store. Get the pizza from the blue freezer. Oh, it's a big pizza. Thank you. Good evening. Sure, that'll be ten dollars. Okay, thank you for buying. Enjoy your evening. You too. Oops, my my bad. Sorry. <laughs> Go home. Um, is home this way? Maybe home's this way. I'm just gonna go this way. Here we are. And eat it. Oh. Turn on the light. Go to sleep. Oh. Oh gosh, what's this? Why? <laughs> I was gonna say, why is it red? Okay. What is happening? Oh, what's that? I Let's it in. So do you. So I don't realize. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Go to sleep. I was going to. Put the dirty laundry in the washer. Put the toilet paper on the toilet. In the toilet, okay. In the toilet? Next to the toilet. Go to the store. Okay. It's night time again. I thought it was daytime for some reason. Now, if I remember correctly, I'm going the right way. Why are you there? Hey, the store's closed. 
Why did something happen? Sal's not gonna get to work. Something must have happened to him. Okay, I'll come back later. Go home. Oh. Oh. And the tars are just question mark, question mark. Or the hands. Okay. Or there's that thing again. I am you. You are me. We are we. Salesman died, yeah. And well, who's that then? Who's the world? Who's the schizophrenic? I am tired of living like this. I think I killed the school clerk. I can't tell reality from illusion. And tonight, 20th of the night, 2016, I'm gonna. I'm alive. Okay. That's really sad. And this is really strange. Is that it? Okay, there could have been a bit more to that, but you know, it gave me a good fright, so I'll give you that. All right, we got death trips. Let's play. Looks pretty trippy, actually. <laughs> October 31, 2008. Inspector M. James is in a hunt for a serial killer. A serial. <laughs> a serial killer called Lady Death. The last victim of this dreadful criminal was found in this cheap hotel where the Lady James is currently investigating. Unfortunately for the inspector, the murderer is still there. Oh, okay. Oh, gosh. 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 Oh, why am I slow? I'm so slow. I'm like a turtle. What the heck? Can I go in the elevator? Oh gosh, you know it's gonna be bad. No! <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. That was it. <laughs> oh, some people are funny. Okay, so we have a late night mop. Guess we'll play it. <laughs> Another horror. Wow. Jeez, okay. Hey, sorry for calling you so late, but uh, would you mind going by the house and do a quick cleanup? I, uh, I made a bit of a mess and I, I need the house cleaned as I have some guests coming over in the morning. Oh, okay, no. thank you. Okay, thank you. Oh. I don't like this. ASD to move. Oh. Click to pick up mop. Oh. Clean stain on the floor. Oh! Oh my goodness, straight to it, hey? Door is blocked. Pick up trash. Put it in the can. What just happened? Okay. Is the trash? Is there a trash bin? Oh, there we are. That's lovely. And clean up the mess. Disgusting. But it's all clean now. 
and nothing's gonna happen because I'm a cleaning lady and you don't want to mess with me because I clean oh it's quite messy quite the dirty I need to there we go oh this is a mess okay please ghosts don't come out at me I'm just mopping the carpet <laughs> no what was that that was weird get away from me I got shit to do I'm very concerned like the walls need mopping you know you want me to do that too okay is it all done down here beautiful good as new Okay. I'll clean up all this trash and get it all nice. And remember, I'm the cleaning lady and you don't want to mess with me. I don't know what that was, but I'm going to ignore it. There we go. And is that done? Clean that up. Oh, goodness. Trash. Get rid of it. Get rid of the trash. You know, I just want to be in and out quick. Done skis. You know? What's this? Is that a key? Beautiful. <gasps> oh my goodness. Hello? Can I help you? Oh my goodness. Please go away. <sighs> okay. Definitely not scary. You're not scaring me. Something looks different. Can I just open this for a second? Where's the light? Oh, goodness. keys everywhere you know each room has a different key beautiful Just... oh! <laughs> oh my goodness I swear so I got that key door is blocked. I think I need to go to the other side. Because that's the only um, door that needs to be unlocked now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> Just going to mop the carpet. Please. a big party or something around here I swear who has this much rubbish all the cans you know I'm hearing it and I'm ignoring it I'm not acknowledging it oh my god what is that 
I don't want to go in there. Hey. Looks like I might have to, though. Okay. Uh-uh. What is that? Oh, what is this? Oh, what is this? That is terrible. Looks like some sacrificing went on, you know? Go home. Okay, well, can I unlock this? Did I just see something move? I think I saw something move, but I didn't really see it exactly. Can I move this? Alright. Of course I have to go the long way. Can't just unlock it. Investigate noise. Yeah. Oh my goodness, me! Yeah. Oh. Okay. Very dead ending. Um, it might be a little too late to be saying this, but maybe don't go into my house. I, uh, I remember I kinda summoned a demon and totally forgot about it. Anyways, uh, I hope you're good and healthy and alive. Why does that okay, sound bye. like Michael Scott? Wow, GG's. Okay. You are Cliff. This is really loud. You are Cliff. A loud college... A loud... <laughs> you are Cliff. A college student... I can't hear myself. <laughs> it's too loud. You are Cliff. A college student who is a brand new freelance cameraman for a show Promenade... <laughs> I'm so distracted. You are Cliff, a college student who is a brand new freelance cameraman for a show, Paranormal Entities. The number two rated ghost investigation show on the hunting and outdoor cable network. You have been hired to inspect St. Augustine's Asylum for the mentally ill. Uh-uh. No way. No, 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 no. No, I don't want to know. <laughs> You will go into this facility, follow the producer's instructions, though a radio earpiece, though, through a radio earpiece, keep your camera on and try and make contact with spirits inside. If nothing happens, you'll get $500 for your time. If you manage to get some amazing footage of real paranormal activity on your camera. No. Mm -mm. No. That is no. That is a no. Hard pass. All right, Clint. Uh, Cliff, Cliff, Cliff. Cliff. Welcome to the St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. My producer Tom said good things about you. In your backpack is a flashlight, a voice recorder, an EMF, and a couple of little fun occult things. We'll let you know when to take those out. Ready to pay off some of those college debts and beer tabs? Well, of course you are. And when you're ready, enter in through those front doors. No, I don't want to do that. No, see, this is okay, but I don't want to go in there. Oops. Okay, it's not working. Oh, this is it. Okay, I guess we'll go through them now. Oh no. Nice, the 
door was unlocked. Ah, it can get a little sticky sometimes. So, here's the story behind the St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. It was founded in the 1880s, closed in the 1960s, and a lot of nasty stuff happened here. I mean, this place is only supposed to house around 500 patients, but at its peak, it was around 3,300 patients in here. I mean, the place was, you know, less of a hospital and more of a place where you dropped your problems off and That's... hope they disappeared. Oh my goodness, May! I love myself. And In the end, this place I'm not was scared sort of at all. What the Bible's supposed to teach. I mean, there was no love here, no grace, no healing. No patience Please, no. I don't want to go in there. The public. They shove those with non threatening mental conditions or those deemed inappropriate to society together with legitimate psychopaths and murderers and other violent I don't monsters. Listen. And basically said, let God sort it out. Oh, no, no, the atrocities no, 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 no. are just too much to This count. is where the hundred the hall hallways was patients would convene. Gosh. When we heard that the patients pre-1920 actually received much care, this place. then the war never left. The depression hit, and then the budgets all fell apart. The room you stand in once healed 20 patients in need of attention, and by the end, 150 patients would pass through this room, naked, starving, attacking each other at random. Laying themselves ah. with metal wires from their beds. No, I don't want to do this. Step. What's that mean? Alright, this is a good place to start. I want you to take out your voice recorder and I'll hopefully be able to awaken this place. Okay, spirits of St. Augustine, please reveal your presence to us. Show us that you are in this room. Feel free to interact with anything. Or speak to us. Use your words, use your voice, and let us know that you're here. Mm -mm. Please don't. Okay, play that back. Let us know that you're here. Please. Uh, nothing. Alright, let's try that again. Augustine, please let us know that you are still in this hospital. I give you permission to reveal yourself. I give you permission to come to life. Just give us a sign that you are here. Tell us where you are. Speak to us now into this microphone. No. Alright, check that. Now into this microphone. Alright, let's try one more spot. Oh, no. Ghosts of St. Augustine, <laughs> you're all a bunch of ghoulish pricks. Show up or piss off. Hey. Why? Whoa, 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 did you hear that? Did you... Play that back, play that back. No, don't. Pricks, no. show up or piss off. No, 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 oh, no, no. Oh, 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 oh. All right, all right. We, looks like we got an investigation. All right, I want you to go down the morgue hallway, and we're going to continue our investigation in the other gathering area. Gee, thanks. You're so helpful. Please love me. <laughs> ah! Okay, the four areas you need to visit to fulfill your contract, the e-social area is the first on the list. This is the area where the inmates who are deemed a danger to society would get be. sweaty. You'll go to this room and perform a summoning ceremony. No. So walk into the center and we will begin. No, thank you. Oh, are you kidding me? Uh, 
I swear. Doors and doors and doors and doors and more doors. This is the entrance to patient cells 200 to 219. We're talking extreme bipolarism, schizophrenia, dementia. Not necessarily dangerous, but it could be a challenge for society. Dang, the door's locked. This sucks. Okay, well, you know, I can only do so much here, you know. This is the entrance to the patient cells 220 to 240. This is where they kept the lunatics, the murderers, the sociopaths, the worst of the worst, including Clive the Peeper Johnson. You'd think he would be a pervert with a nickname, the Peeper, but the truth is far worse. He was extremely manipulative and very intelligent. He was a murderer and a maimer. Most of his victims could never identify him because he managed to convince them to gouge their own eyes out with metal wires and even their own fingernails. He came here to the legal loopholes and when the facility went off the rails and the doctor stopped caring, he jumped into action. The patients who didn't listen were tortured and the ones who did wandered around the facility, blind, screaming, and in constant fear. This door's locked too. Let's just start the ceremony. Oh my spirits inside this asylum. We know that you're here. We release you from your restraints. Oh heck no. Come forward and live again. This person is no longer shielded from the realm of the dead. You may be seen, interact, and manipulate him in any way as you see fit. Oh my goodness. Mm -mm. No. Don't just stand there. Go go check it out. No. Was that open before? Oh heck no. I am uncomfy. 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 Uh-uh. Mm -mm. No. No. I can figure out how to bloody get out. All right, get out of this hallway and then take a take your second right. One, two. Doors locked. Damn it! Damn it! Oh, okay. There's a there's a staircase. Take the staircase up to the second floor, and you should be next to a fire escape. You should be able to get out that way. So so go up the staircase. There is nothing to be scared of. 
Goodness me. Uh uh. I don't like this. This is not happening. No, 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 no. no nothing is. I'm not looking. I'm not, I'm not hearing. I'm not even paying attention. It's stupid. Not get me. It's stupid. See, I keep accidentally clicking off it. I'm happy and I'm fine and there's nothing to worry about because because I'm not scared I'm not scared there's nothing to worry about nothing exists like this to do because the guy's not messaging me he's not messaging he's not calling me i'm a little bit confused oh do i follow these I'm gonna stop being scary because they're gonna be like, you can't even get out of here, you suck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't like it. an actual maze. Wait, what? Wait, what? I'm stuck. Stay here. Oh, okay. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm in a cell. Why is there blood all of a sudden? Where's the other doors gone? No eyes. No eyes. Don't see. Don't see. Wow, 
beautiful. break but okay damn flashlight broke I can't use that anymore no <laughs> no bro no don't even come at me right now can I get a no I don't know what I'm doing I see you now. Rapid fire, run! He sees you. I'm not running. And I'm a lost cause and forget about me. Look, uh, I'm if you can't feel anything, I, I'm sorry, but we're not coming. I'm sorry, man. I have to go. I'm sorry. There you go. Paranormal entities. Woo! 
There you go. There are some scary free games out there that are, are definitely worth playing if you want a hard pass from me. I will never be playing them again, but anyone can give it a go. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this series and you would like more. I really like these smaller devs games and uh, yeah, I think they're really fun and quirky and there's like heaps of them on the website too. So let me know if you want more, but yes. Yeah. I hope you all enjoyed my videos and uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you all enjoyed videos today and yeah, let me know if you want me to play more of this kind of style of gaming. Uh, I will play more if you guys want that, so let me know. I hope you all have a good day, night, wherever you are in the world and maybe and hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!